Teaching for Success Tunisia is a project uh, run by three partners. Those partners are the Tunisian Ministry of Education, the British Embassy here in Tunisia and the British Council. The ultimate aim of Teaching for Success Tunisia is to enhance the employability of young Tunisians. Um, the background to this is that employers tell us they have vacancies which they cannot fill because candidates don't have all of the skills that they need. And amongst these skills you have English language and what we call 21st century skills or core skills like problem solving, creativity, collaborative working and things like that. So this project works closely with the Ministry of Education uh, to support the Ministry of Education in its reform ambitions for education. So I'm proud to be part of the first uh, English advisors in the country. As a teacher advisor, you are expected to be the expert and to give consultancy to many teachers and to be uh, a point of reference to them. You have to answer all questions they may ask you. I would say I'd have to enjoy the Tunisian teachers. Everyone has been really willing to try. Um, it seems like they are really taking on board and engaging with what we are teaching um, and are very interested in it. So it's nice to have very engaged, interested teachers that are wanting to become better and not here just because they have to be. They want to be and that's, that's amazing. The children is not so easy, you know. So uh, to be here, it's an honor for me, first. And second, it is to just to learn, to learn these methods, to be able to teach English. It simply will help to stop making new generation of uh, parrots, you know. We just teach them and teach them and make them just copy what we say and after that they get it back like a parrot, you know. Just, I hope that we will stop making a new generation of parrots. Teachers have come along in their holiday straight after Eid and they've come along with a lot of enthusiasm to take part in this course. Uh, they've worked really, really hard and the reason that we're running this course is because in September the teachers who are our course participants, they're going to start teaching Grade 4 English for the first time. So as trainers we're introducing new techniques and ideas for developing listening skills, speaking skills, basic learning to read and write with this younger age group. As far as a teacher educator, I'll be using all these new techniques, all these new chances, new strategies and new ideas to cascade them to my teacher through workshops, through a monthly uh, meeting or weekly meeting. Philippa showed us how to use materials. They are simple materials in a way, but they are really useful. We can use anything, either paper sticks, either paper uh, pipes, or things that are really simple that any teacher can use. It's not really, there is no need to buy things that are expensive. 
uh, when uh, students may um, make mistakes, we can't uh, scold them, but uh, we must encourage them and uh, uh, make them love uh, the language. English is becoming more and more important. People are aware that English must be taught at an early age. And as a teacher advisor and as a mom, as a mother, I think people are becoming aware that their children need to, need to know English, need to speak English, need to, need to be exposed to English from an early age. The methods that the, the English teachers use is totally different with the methods that we use, for example, in Arabic. We don't play, uh, we don't play with our children, serious, serious, write, 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 and learn, 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 read, speak. We don't play, we don't tell them stories, we don't tell them, uh, we don't play games, we don't use real materials. We have uh, many problems in our school. And one problem, one challenge that you often come across is that training courses are designed at a level which is too high for the teachers. One of the reasons I like this course is because it's very realistic, it's practical, uh, it meets their real needs and things that they can do in the classroom. And also it gives them plenty of opportunities to practice for themselves and think for themselves. It is not only good for, uh, for English, it is also very useful for our uh, native language or for the French because in uh, our schools we have uh, Arabic language and we have the approaches and uh, this uh, new approach is very useful to uh, uh, practice it with the Arabic and uh, with the first class Arabic we have here. That's uh, really uh, important. A lot of the teachers, in the first day, we ask about things that they expect from the course, expectations. And lots of teachers said that they wanted to know, to find out more activities they can use with their students. And so we are providing them demonstrations and they are practicing different reading um, activities, speaking, listening activities, writing activities. So it's going to be really helpful. So when they go into the classroom, they now have a bank of activities that they can refer to and they can use in conjunction with their storytelling. Even if we study English at university, but it would, there wasn't a real uh, chance to practice, to talk, to speak in English. Here, they, give, they gave us uh, this uh, opportunity. It's very important to learn English uh, from the young years. And by introducing this language in the fourth grade, by this act we are preparing the generation to find the jobs easily. But uh, in this training session, with, uh, which is new, is that uh, we focus on games, we focus on practical um, things that help the teacher to manage his classroom in a funny way. At the same time, the, the students learn and they don't feel boring. The 
the box makes noises. John, the trainers is are curious. wonderful. I like them a lot, and the way how they are, how they train us and make everything very simple. I was like, why we're complicated everything? Why the lesson must be this complicated? And when the, uh, we saw the trainers, how they act and move and use everything in the, in the class and they use in their faces, mad, sad, and they're active. So English at the moment is being taught from grade six. The, the idea to, to start teaching is from grade four, as of yet, by the Ministry of Education for teaching English to grade four students. And so therefore, one of the main drivers of the project is to equip teachers, Tunisian teachers, with the skills um, to be able to base uh, English for grade four around a, around a story. And stories are very powerful. There's always something new uh, and uh, we need this kind of training to learn what's new and to improve ourselves. So you have to convince them that you are really uh, helping them, not supervising or evalu evaluating what they are doing. So it's more that, that than anything else. Anything else. This class has to make class not boring, not boring. This class is full of life, full of English life, not English, English life, but with words, with English words, how kids are happy, happy to learn English, not to give up and say, wow, this is, is difficult, I can't learn English, it's difficult, I can be give up. No, how to encourage them to learn. And as I said, through games, through different games, not only one game and you repeat this game every day. No, I said you can use flashcards, but in different, in different ways. Okay, we are to learn from uh, well-qualified and experienced the trainers from uh, different parts of the world. I'm still learning much from Iskra and uh, they are very good and uh, I think uh, I have learned m much, very much during the two, two weeks. If you take a child and put it in another country, they learn uh, the language of the country much faster than their parents. So we brain research looked into it, what's going on there? Why do children learn so quickly? Uh, and we are trying to, and we are doing it actually, we are applying the knowledge we get about this, about the natural way we learn languages into the classroom. This program uh, make me gain new skills, practical skills, because we spend, spend, we spend many years, more than a decade, learning again about theories, about how Chomsky, what Chomsky said, what Piaget said. But when we go to class, we almost have nothing. It's all about theory. Five weeks this summer changed me professionally. So now I am very confident that I, can, that I have something that I can deliver to my teachers. I can make three days training by myself because I have new skills, new ideas, 
new ways of dealing with teachers. So I am pretty confident that they can. This is what changed in me professionally. Simple method. Yes, it is. It is. Yeah. And the only thing, what would you need to do as teachers to prepare for that? The difference with what we are doing is we are helping the teachers to know how to write their own stories so that the stories they produced are relevant for the local Tunisian context. Um, so we're not just coming in and saying, here's a story, this is what you've got to use. We're giving them the tools to be more independent um, so that they can create stories for whatever situation they need. The bird eats ten bees. It fears sick. It nibbles a war. Yes? It feels better. An egg, an egg lies on leaves. 